Hi. All right. So, haven't made a video for a while, but there's some things on my mind that I thought uh, I'd like to share. And this is not a one video type thing, but I'll be making a series of them. I'm trying to make about three of them today. Because I want to start out by talking about how the human mind is an amazing thing. It's capable of so many things, and it's capable of learning, it's capable of changing, it's capable of adapting throughout life. The problem is, the difficulty is that change can be hard, because change can be difficult, because in order to establish a change in your life, a long-standing, permanent, ish change you have to let some of the dead wood in your life burn off or in other words there are parts of you that have to die in order for new change to stick and that's painful because you're letting a part of yourself die and most people past the age of 20 30 years old don't want to let any part of themselves die and that makes change difficult we also often have what are called limiting beliefs. Um, not a clinical term, obviously, but it's a common term. And to overcome a limiting belief, because a limiting belief can keep you from successfully making the change that you need to make. To overcome your limiting belief or beliefs, there's a process that you have to go through. The number one step is not to identify the belief because chances are you won't be able to accurately identify that belief in the beginning so we have to take some steps to get there number one is you have to identify one big goal so there's two types of goals the first is what we can call technical goals that would be like I don't know enough about say marketing and so I'm going to take a marketing class. That's a pretty fixed goal. It's a pretty standard, easy fix. You want to learn, you take the class, you go to the seminar, you take the online course, you get the knowledge, you move on. But the types of goals we need to look at if we're going to overcome limiting beliefs are what we call adaptive challenges or adaptive problems. And these are more of saying, I'm a procrastinator, or I'm a control freak, okay? And then we need to frame that goal. These are not things, you cannot take a course that will effectively teach you to not procrastinate. You can't teach a, teach a course that's gonna change you from being a control freak into a delegator. You can acquire information through those courses, but they're not likely going to affect the changes. If they can, great go that way because that's the easier way otherwise we need to take our goal let's say let's say control I like to exercise an excessive amount of control over my team let's frame that in a positive light so your goal then would be I want to be a better delegator or I want to give my team more autonomy in their work that's how we frame that goal so number one thing, identify your one big adaptive goal. I'll talk about the other steps in later videos. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Have any comments, agree, disagree. Let's have a discussion below.